Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 5 of Junji Ito Collection, or Uto Ito Junji Collection, or whatever you want to call it. So, with this episode, we split into two parts again, and the first part is about, well, this guy, I don't remember, his Oshi Kitty, actually, now that I think about it, um, basically he lives in this house alone where it's, uh, there's parallel worlds that are able to pass through because one of his like classmates keeps passing through and he sees her like disappear at one point and I'm like okay this is weird um but it's not as weird as I'd hoped it'd be like it got weird at the end of the story but it was like that all right then yep that happened um but yeah the you know he gets that classmate like she follows him home basically it's like oh I want to go in your house it's like this western style house right and I'm like girl you don't want to go in there because he's been seeing like um, one classmate class, classmate that tried to beat him up uh, appeared there in this weird monstrous blue form and was like, oh she kitty, oh she kitty, and I'm like, that's disturbing. Why don't you move, man? But anyway, um, <laughs> so. After she goes in the house, though, she immediately disappears once she enters the little gate thing, um, and he can't find her. And then he finds out later on that there's, like, parallel hymns, doppelgangers, basically, and they're all trying to, like, grow, basically, because they always call them short in school, so, like, all the other doppelgangers, besides this one specific one, are trying to make a thing to, like, make them grow, and it always ends up with them becoming monstrous things, and I'm like... Well then, and he's been experimenting on his classmates uh, in every parallel world, I guess, and I'm just like, well, okay then. So, uh, he, the guy fights the thing, he stabs it with the thing, it grows, dies, and that's pretty much how the story ends. And I'm like, well, alright then. And then we can get a continuation story, kind of with our first story we ever saw from this anime, which is the one about Shoichi, um, the guy with the nails and the, yeah, um, the creepy one. Um, and his continuation story was... Eh, like, his story's been one of the weakest, so I didn't really care much. I was like, okay, that's not really that creepy, but okay. So basically, this time around, he's making people into... Well, he's not really making people into them, but he's making dolls that have movements and can talk that are based off, like, his teachers and classmates, and I'm just like, okay, that's fun, not really, but, um... He's doing his creepy stuff more, and, you know, and at one point, um, the guy, uh, that is our kind of protagonist for this story starts chasing him, and he, he pulls down his pants, and, and he sees his butt, and I'm just like, what? Is he not wearing underwear? Like, what the heck? And I tell you, butts do not turn red from embarrassment, but whatever. Next thing you know, it's gonna start, uh, having a butt bleed. <laughs> Instead of a nosebleed, we got butt bleeds. That would be really creepy and disturbing. Um, but anyway, so... Yeah, after that, he starts to get, tries to get revenge on the guy who did that to him by making a doll out of him. And for some reason, I guess the curse that he put on him made him grow a beard. That part wasn't really explained into detail too much. I was kind of like, that was random. Like, I thought there'd be more to that, but it just kind of randomly happened. And I'm like, he's an elementary student growing a beard. I, I guess that has to do something with the curse of the double thing. I don't know. It was weird. But, um, in the end, though, Shuichi decided to, I guess, have the dolls stop moving because they kept uh, targeting him now in the end. So it was like, yeah, you done messed up, boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that story just wasn't the greatest, though, because I was like, I don't really care, but, okay. And it wasn't even that disturbing. It was just kind of like, like, people have said that Shoichi's stories are supposed to be comedic, and I'm like, that's not funny. What was funny about that, besides the butt thing? That was kind of funny, but, I mean, his stories are just weak, and I don't care. And, like, the first one was pretty decent, but this one, I just don't care. So, let's not do any more of his stories, if he has any more, because I don't care. I might even skip over them, because I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> but, anyway, what do you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!